And on my first day in office, I will end war! That's right. Man, this country's in trouble, man. I know, brother. I hope humans, I hope they write in Frank. Bearish. But the only way I can achieve world peace is with your help, America! I'm gonna save this country. I need you to write in Frank Barish on Election Day! And I need you to get your friends to write in Frank Barish on Election Day! Hey there, fellas. It's me, the mouth. I'm doing an interview here with my pal Frankie B. He's running for president. Hey, Frankie. Hey, a mouth. How are ya? So you're a homeless guy, but you're running for president? I'm only homeless until you put me in the White House, America. <laughs> I like that. And if we all come together as a nation, we can have my inauguration. And I can finally do something about this damn inflation. So, Frankie, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Okay. Just kind of a lightning round, and we're going to see, uh, you know, your positions on the issues. Global warming. You ever see the smog over Los Angeles? Clearly we're contributing to the climate, and we need to act now. Another year of record-breaking heat. But because this one little blue spot was colder than normal, Republicans say the rest isn't happening. Say what? The war on drugs. It is an unconstitutional abomination, and it needs to be ended. And I pledge to you here tonight that on my first day in office, I will end the drug war! I will end the drug war! I thought there'd be a applause for that? You guys gotta ring the weed now! Oh, so you're like, oh, this is so much more Wow, that's cool though. I mean, a lot of us worked hard so you could have that legal weed and then forget there was a drug war on the rest of the country. But anyway, I digress because I'm running for president here, folks. How about war in general? The arms manufacturers, the people who profit off war, they must be stopped. War can be stopped. And I will stop the coming war with China if I have to go into every general and go, let's go, bro. I'm the president, man. No, come on, man. We're not going to do this. If that's what I have to do to stand up for America, that's what I'll do. So, running for president. How are you? War can be stopped. We'll be back after these messages, folks. Stay tuned. No clicking. Haha, <laughs> nope. Honey, this country's in big trouble. I know, baby, and there's only one man who can fix it. Frank Barish. I know it. You know it. We all know this country's in trouble. That's why surfers will write in Frank Barish for president. Frank Barish isn't beholden to big business. Like Hillary Clinton. Surfers are all about independence. Go Frank. If you're a working person in this country, the Republicans are actively trying to screw you. Democrats aren't helping you. Write in Frank Barish. This bee is dying. Why? Hillary Clinton's not going to stand up to the companies that are killing our bees. I will. And we're back with presidential candidate Frankie B. Frank's sharing his positions on issues that matter. Issues that are important to Americans like you and me. The economy. It's time to put the banksters in jail. They stole trillions of dollars. That's the first step. This has been the economic policy of this country for far too long. Write me in and I'll fix it. Education. We need to stop all the testing and let teachers be teachers and pay them what they deserve. Taxes. Like Warren Buffett says, he's one of the richest men in the world and he pays a lower tax rate than his secretary. to reverse that. I believe in every word of the Second Amendment, including those two words that are invisible to conservatives. Well regulated. What about guns? The Second Amendment is untouchable, but it says well regulated. So we're going to regulate. This is a tough one, Frankie. <sighs> abortion. Making abortion illegal doesn't stop abortions. Honest sex education, access to contraception. Are you pro-life or pro-choice? I'm both. Huh, I can't be, it's impossible. Well, let's see. I am absolutely to my core pro-choice. The government has absolutely no jurisdiction over a woman's uterus. You have no jurisdiction over a woman's uterus! Good, thank you for saying that, but how, how can you be pro-life if that's, if that's your position? That's ridiculous. Well, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, ma'am. Um, I believe there should be less abortions and I think almost everyone does. If you fund women's education, if you fund women's health care, if you fund women's early, early childhood development, those things that the Republicans want to cut, you have to fund those things if you want to bring the rates of abortion down. You can't make it illegal. Access to contraception, alleviating poverty, that's how you reduce abortion rates. That whoa, 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 hold the phone there, Frankie B. Are you telling me you're both pro-choice and pro-life somehow? 
Exactly. I recognize that you can't make abortion go away by making it illegal any more than you can make drugs go away by making them illegal. If you want to stop abortion, there's ways to do it. And you can do it without taking women's rights away. Because I will not, under any circumstances, take away a woman's right over her own body. But I want there to be no abortions. So we're going to work towards that without making it illegal. So I'm pro-choice and I'm pro-life. Dude, that is revolutionary, my friend. You all gotta vote for Frank, right? Oh, do you believe in God? What does that mean, man? God, man. God means something different to everybody, so what? Say what? Do you believe in God, Frankie? Hell yeah, man, but my God, you know? Not some bearded dude on a cloud. God is every bird in the sky. God is bigger than you and I, man. That's beautiful, man. You ever seen that picture of the known universe, man? Billions of galaxies! That's God, man. <sighs> God is in every distant galaxy, man, and, and the galaxies beyond that, man. And the ones beyond that. God is everywhere and everything. God is in the bird I'm hearing sing. God is me, God is you, God is... Hey there, folks. Shadow here. Those corporate candidates have got to go. Hey there, folks. I know Hillary Clinton seems like a good idea, but she's corrupt, yeah? Oh, no! If we don't stand up for this country, who the heck is gonna? Power to the people. Don't push the button. You gotta ride in Frank Parrish, yeah, oh yeah. You all gotta vote for Frank, right? Oh, you all gotta vote for Frank, right? Oh. So hey, Frankie, what can America get you for Christmas, man? I ask not what America can give me, I ask what I can give to America. If you vote for me, we're gonna hold Wall Street accountable. We're gonna end the drug war. We're gonna save this country. Corruption is eating at the very fabric of our democracy. Politicians are puppets to the corporations, but not me. I want my country back from the corporations and their corrupt politicians. So write me in, America. For this idea to become a revolution, I need your help. On election day, I need you to write in Frank Barish. Come on, though, seriously. Wouldn't that be a great president? No one will control me. I'll just do the right thing. The truth is, it's out of my hands, America. It's up to you. If you write me in, then I'll be president. Her husband sold out the middle class for corporate money. I want a woman president. I know you do, honey, so do I. But Hillary's a warmonger and she works for Goldman Sachs. I know that. Donald Trump? A joke. Ben Carson? A really dumb joke. Rubio? Whiny liar. Carly Fiorina? <laughs> The founding fathers of this country, they were geniuses. They need to be listened to. The future of the republic is at stake. Hey folks, Fonzie the Bear again. Talking about a revolution. We need someone to save this country. Write in, Frank Barish. You know what's cool about Frank? You can write him in on both sides. Republican? Democrat? Don't like your choices? Write in Frank Barish. You all gotta vote for Frank, right? Frankie, you need to promise me something, buddy. What is it, buddy? If we elect you president, man, will you do the right thing? Yes. Everybody vote for Frank. Write him in on election day. So, on election day, are you gonna check off a box for someone you don't trust? Or are you gonna write in Frank Barish? If you write in Frank Barish, we'll save the world, yeah. Why, hello there. I'm a spokesman for the military-industrial complex. I just want to tell you, Americans, that we don't want you to write in Frank Barish. Frank Barish is a good man who will bring us to our knees, basically, and he may bring about world peace. And that would be terrible for the military-industrial complex. I can't, I can't quite tell you how bad that'll be. So please do not vote for Frank Barish. Do not write him in on election day. Under any circumstances, please go war. Thank you. End bank bailout. Raise the minimum wage. Save social security. Build infrastructure. I'm only homeless till you put me in the White House. Frank Barish. I am the shadow, and I say vote for Frank Barish. I'm only homeless till you put me in the White House, America. Woohoo!
I'm only homeless till you put me in the White House, America. Woohoo! I'm only homeless till you put me in the White House, America. My name is Frank Barish. My slogan is MAGFO. Make America great for once. I will now take questions.